Yeah, it's all about you, and it, Pep? Like a pissed up uncle at my fifth birthday party. You couldn't let us have a nice day out, could ya? After a stunning revival in the FA Cup final, just after the half-time break, it was one miss in the shootout to sink the ship. City, does he not get boring? Because I'm sick to death of ya. I tell ya, we're coming back for ya, and you've made an enemy out of the wrong man. But all eyes are on one thing this season, turning this into this. Normalisation for the second year in the championship then. We've gone back to the lighter, the whiter glass, boys. With the away greyed out ready for business. And the third, once again, I do my best work in the final third. Just like TP himself. Two big matters before we get on to the rest of the admin. And let's face it, how could we have gone on with the season? Without sitting Mikel and big hands down to bring back two shining lights from last season. Hoyne, well Marco, you put it best. He could have saved the Titanic from sinking. He would never have let Jack go, Rose. You oh, still bitter about it. And the Great Dane back to spoil his bitches. Only for 12 months, though, asking a bag. But the Hoiny situation feels just like Emmy Martinez. We're going to turn this man into the world's number one. But there's a couple man stealing a living out to walk the plank this season. Never going to make the first team Portman. Oh, it was nice while it lasted though. Sheva always fighting a losing battle behind Benny and Hoyne. Billy Burrows another one. And with Benny Seagrass leaving too. Now we've got a little bit of dollar to work with. And looking through the suggestions. Deli Alley was a great show. He's not in the game. Andre Gray, not in the game either. And Gift Orban, just way too spenny. So we've gone with someone who's been glaring at me like a Karen in Tesco's Express. Tricky, coming so fast I thought I was a virgin again. It's half in a fire. Got me coming like Bastille. I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. Knocking this man's airline back with the heat coming off that treadmill. But trying to use funds wisely, I brought in a young Swede just to help Sammy and Dame up front. And with our very own Jack Greedy from last season, Gary coming out with a corker again like the great man himself. Stick the number 40 on him. So with the remaining, I thought we needed to start churning out youth like a prime Nick Cannon. We've sent our scout on a jolly to Japan. I just love the sound of a samurai slicing his way through the back line. But with barely to any signings, this man is going to feel like a newcomer. So then, can this team propel us to the promised land? Well, like me, after a trip to the cottage, Lamb Rogan Josh, extra spicy, four blue moons and a baby Guinness. We'll have a red hot crack. So then, as we hit season five, remember to drop a like on this series if you're loving it. If you like it, do the same. And if you hate it, well, just do it anyway. It's free and mess. But the Foxy first stop boasting a front line of Marcus Taram. I look like Sydney Sweeney. Loads up top, not a lot at the back. But what is up front is top draw. And we've won to his name. He goes round home, but it's Reese Williams back covering arses like he works for Pampers LLC. Skip tries his luck with a power shot from the edge of the box, but the keeper's equal to it. We found it almost impossible to carve out chances in this one. But the game went from bad to worse. Jan, our top G from last episode, gets down in the box. It's like me and your mom vibes. Be there for a while. Get your boots on, Lego Ed. How whammy is for an 18 year old? This strike partnership, though, has blossomed into one of the most beautiful duos. Skip can't let anyone have the limelight too much, though, can he? When life gives you lemons, he says, Fuck the lemons, I'll have a pint instead. You know, he's a stellar man. But the one man who loves a lemon is the man that hails from the Amalfi Coast. Luca with a humdinger. I swear down, he's got like two of these in him an episode. This one, straighter than me after seeing that new The Substance film. It's like watching softcore. Heine running out quicker than your iPhone battery after the latest update. Smothering it like when you hear what inheritance you're going to get. Come over here, Doris. Smell this pillar. Queen's Park looking like they're going to get the same treatment as Lizzie. But a tame effort for Carl to deal with. Got him acting up like Pilkington? That save was bullshit. But with the game fading away, it's Scarlet that's the spark with a touch, the set, and the finish is electric. Come on, Doris, you're not leaving us just yet. Strap on that defib. The Great Dane could save a PDF on a floppy disk. We then brought the Rammel to Brammel. Dane having the defender lot Bambi on ice. He's defo a Trump voter. Kick the shit out of his Achilles. But just remember, he only got a yellow for that. Luca with an Austin McPhee S3 kick routine. Deflection finds Shepard. But as O'Hare slips the panties to the side, 
staring down the barrel. It's Harper, gets right round him, gets all ball and still sees red. Tyrese though breaking the lines and Williams go and meet Harp for a shower mate. He's lathered up and waiting. Hanging on with five minutes left, it's Koike. Dangles a leg and it genuinely feels like I've been follied in the danglies. The spoils are shared with the blades. We then welcome Ipswich to the War Memorial and hear me out. Son of Rory, Liam Delap, a glass boy. Think about it. Heine then defending it like your mate who's got one too many ideas about immigration. He's just proud to be British, I don't know. Jan then dinks a ball into Tov's path and like a train that's going through a tunnel that's far too small. God, I feel sorry for his missus. In the 88th minute, Ipswich box into their own corner. There's no way this could go south in the seconds left on the clock. A famous draw against top of the table will keep us in touching distance of the automatic promotion plat. Yeah, yeah, of course they turn into Prime Barca. You just know Ed Sheeran somewhere jerking his gherkin all over his guitar, any. But another trip to the Hawthorns. I don't know what it is about this place, but it just makes us want to pop off from deep. And to be fair, might just be that we don't want to get too close to the stands. You've seen the Baggies fans, haven't you? Like, six points. TP slaps it like a fat batty in a club and Palmer reacts later than my missus' period. It's been like six months. Do you reckon that means something? And the last game of these highlights against Pompey, Perry hitting the bar hard like an Elkie on a Tuesday at 10am. But if we're talking the hardest, Tov better pop up in the box and just clart it. Genuinely one of the sexiest goals I've scored in FC25. So then at the halfway mark, sitting in fifth, six points off Cov and the Foxes. Oh, they might be out of reach. But the scouts back from the Japan trip. Hara looks like a handy striker. Takashi, great name, headband. I'm going to force you to be amazing. And then Saito, the pace. Oh, he's so horny. In you come then, boys. Well, and out you go. Couple man out for a six month loan, including Garner, Middleton, and Marshall. Feel bad about that one. But then heading into the second half of the season, pushing for the automatics, but staying firmly in the playoffs is priority numero uno. Never have I seen a smaller head with a bigger nose on it. That man looks like he could smell what I'm thinking. The only thing that we can smell is that Tov continues to cook. Sunderland next up at the Trap House of Championship Grounds, and the only way to stop TP is basically catching the ball and punching it away. But you know what happens at a Trap House. A man turns up with a little bag of tricks and ruins lives. Step forward, Luca Saracini. Oh, look at him having a sniff to celebrate. The brass on this boy. Listen, it's coming again. First of many. Now, one man that's gone missing this season is Jan with the injury and the emergence of Hancock locking down that holding midfield spot. Has he still got it? Oh, he's got it by the bollocks as the keeper stumbling around. Like a dementia-ridden OAP going for a lovely Sunday morning stroll on the M5. Sounds like a smashing time. By the way, the drip courtesy of Sharkmaster. Oh, salute, sir. And Tov continuing his unreal hesky s form. Not seen Perry twat one in for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. You know where TP likes to spend most of his time between a pair of legs. Tov again scoring easier than an OnlyFans model on Freshers Week. Sorry, a paedophile on Freshers Week. You defo would, though, wouldn't you, lads? But the final game of these highlights could have been an unreal game with everything riding on it against Carve. Well, it ended up like Gemma Collins riding your nose. Dane slides in an opener. Hancock, though, blossoming into an unreal talent. It's a shame. He looks like he's got someone's hand up his ass the whole time. Like a puppy. It's not some weird hazing thing that Tank does. But let's face it, he was destined to score his first goal like this. On his knees to the crowd. And left the crowd on their knees. Cox in his name, but no one's going to be using their hands. Well, maybe from underneath, just like that. Sorry, young blood, you're staying in sunny Stour, giving Tank some serious problems. How's he going to fit everyone in one side? But after a fourth place finished, it's the roller coaster of the playoffs with the rematch up against Chef Yu in the semis. And of course, it's live. So then, it's the little broke boys, and it's the lottery of the playoffs. We've bought a ticket. But you know what the playoffs is all about? It's all about characters. And most of these boys, you couldn't even write them into existence. J.K. Rowling should be saying some gay slur, but Jesus Christ. She couldn't dream up these boys in her imagination lab. 
anyone in this team. Then oh, we, we know about Harrison Burrows, Jamie Shackleton. Apparently, they're wingers. Romero and De, De, De Luiu. Let's just call him Calvin. We know about Cal O'Hare as well, former Villa boy. But I ain't scared of these lot. And nor are these boys. No one's scared coming to Bramall Lane, boys. Come on. Our team, as you were, 4 4 2. Dane and Sampson up front with Perry and Yan in that midfield. Wingers, Teddy Sheps and Afire. And then the back four, the Williams brothers. Luca, Harper. And then in goal, it's big Heine. Come on, the glass boys. First leg. Oh, let's put the blades to the sword. Someone get moving. Someone get a shake and get a groove in. Oh, terrible referee. Teddy Sheps is up again, though. And he's been took down again. Ref, we're not having that. Are you taking the piece? No, Jan's picked it up. Gone in a fire. Have a run at him. Have a run at Shackleton. Burners. Lovely. Dane! Oh! That is whiskers. That is very close. He's got great heading stats for a little man. Touch it around there. And go. And go. And go then, Dane. You've got the pace for him. Find someone in the box then. Tony Sampson. Tony Sammo! Oh! Effort. Oh, fire again. Oh, no. And he's gone. It's Campbell. High line has absolutely done us. Heine, get back in goal then. Big save, Heine. Well done, son. Right, ball out then. Ball out. Big winner. Oh! I thought it was creeping. I thought it was creeping. Ball in again, though. Get it gone. Get it out! Oh, it's off the bar. Luca. Oh, my God. Right, we need to settle down here, boys. We need to settle. I don't like this. Number of corners coming in. Teddy Sheps does well. Oh, he's mixed him. We've got to get this gone. We've got to get this gone. Got to get it gone. It's another corner. I hate these. Out to it, out to it, out to it. Made it short again. So hair this time. Now Romero. Where are you going to go? Campbell. Is it one? Oh, my God, he's flashed one wide as well. Couldn't get anyone on him. Chef, I can see you. It won. It won. Oh, corner. We'll have it. Oh, we'll have a free kick. We will have a free kick. Is it close enough? It is close enough. Go on, Luca. Go on, Luca. In the semi-finals of the playoffs, are you taking the piss? Could you? Could you even? Could you even think about it? It's Luca! <laughs> he's done it! i tell you what, he's got it now done now, hasn't he? The English Italian. He's got him nailed. Honestly, it's Perlo-esque. When you see it, when you see that top corner rippling, you know it's Lucas Erasini on the back end of it, hanging out the back of it, son. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's classical. I tell you what, it's like the concerto. Second half, I just don't want a goal. I don't want a goal conceded. That's all I don't want. Nice oh, pass. Oh no. Oh no. It's Campbell. Oh, I couldn't get to him. It's off the post. I tell you what. I weren't scared at the start of the game. I'm terrified of him now. Let's set us up. Let's get us moving. Get us shaking. Get us grooving. Ball over the top and Scarlet's gone. Potentially, it's got to be a red ref. It's got to be a red, you know. It's got to be a red. You are taking... Mate, Reese Williams has been sent off about 14 times this season for exactly the same. If not, not even that bad. Right, it's a little bit further out, I think. Yeah, Tank, you're right, son. Double standards. Let's see it. Get right side of him. Oh, no, he's through. He's through. Oh, no. Oh, big save from bloody Heine. I tell you. He, he got the mentions he did deserve last last episode. He got the mentions he deserved, I'm telling you. Marvin, oh, go on then. Nick him. Yeah. 
Campbell. Oh, he's just incredible. Oh, he's offside. Oh, my God, he's offside. I tell ya, Campbell, you're playing with me now. You got me balls in a vice, son. Look at that little ball there. That's, that's, to be fair, it's unlucky. I'm frigging glad, but it's unlucky. He's going to deliver. He is going to deliver. Oh, no! Big save again. Get it gone. Oh. What a ball that was. What a ball this could be. Big switch. Go on, Marvin. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it! Keep going. Ball in. Samson! <sighs> Big header. Big header. Go on, well done. Go on, Frosty. Chase it. Oof. Nilsson. If you can. If you can. Dane, you're through. Could this put us in the driving seat? It really could. It's Nilsson. Hit one. Oh, it's a big, big defensive block. From, I think the winger. Mm, I've got to get it back here. I don't really don't like this. Nikona. It's quick. Oh, Tyrese. Tyrese. No! Oh, big three from Honey once again. Just get this. Get this fucking corner kick. Ah, via. I don't want to deal. It's an unbelievable save. It's well worked. It is straight at him. Big header away. Well done. Well done, Hancock. Get it gone. And that's it. We take one goal. <sighs> we take a one goal lead into the second leg of the semis. We can side though slightly. No Dane today. Nielsen comes in instead of him. You got Shepard out on the right, absolutely knackered. So Frosty comes in to replace. And it's Koike at the back instead of Dylan Williams. But come on, boys. We got an offense way. And we're a goal ahead. We ain't got anything to worry about against these boys. Come on. O'Hare. Hackford. Ball over. It's Romero. Well, kept up, Harps. He's back inside you, though. Big save, Heine. Lads, we are. We are falling a bit here. We are falling to pieces. Ball out wide. Gotta to touch it. Foul ref. I tell you what. Can they can they go a couple of minutes without fouling? Oh, a fire. You're through. First goal of the season, son. Oh, it's a big effort as well. Didn't know you had that in ya. Come on then. Error on this. Error on this. Samson! Oh. Romero. Romero, whatever his name is. They've got a corner. No, it's not. It's a free kick. This could be dangerous. This is why we need a second goal, boys. Come on. Let's get this out. Let's get this out. Oh, no. Oh, we've just been playing at it, haven't we? We have just been playing about it. Sit down, Wilder. Jesus Christ, or is that Wilder's dyslexic brother or something? It's a great ball in, but he's the smallest geezer on the pitch, lads. Two centre-backs who are six foot plus. Any of them bothering marking anyone? The ball sticks to him. Got oh, gaffer tape. Ball in. A fire. Tovi day! Oh! It's a big save. It is a big save, but we are working him now. Luca ball in. Jan! Oh, the flick. The flick. Right then, a couple changes. Yang comes off. Perry coming off as well, this time for Shepard. A fire for Vialba. And of course, the great Dane. On you come, son. Go and get us a goal. Go and get us a winner. A winner for Rye. I've had the best of balls. I've never had. Tovi Day. He won! Oh, off the bar! Off the post. That's so unlucky. That is so unlucky. It's a great little strike. Danger now. Not like this. Not like this. Not. Not like this! Well done, Hoyne. Get it gone, get it gone. Get it up. Get it, pick it, it pick it. Oh. That is not... It's not looking good. It's not a looking a good. Danger. 
Hackford. Oh, moves it. He's going for a corner, in it? He's going for a corner. Oh, my God. How, how has this come to be? How has this come to pass? Ball in, then. Let's get it gone. Harper. Big header away. Gone and chef. Chase it. Straight back into him. Got to be offside, ref. Big winner. Go on, Toff. Touch that. Go on, Toff. Inside him. Oh, what a piece of play. Go on, Toff. Got to finish this. Got to finish it. That's it, Toffy Day. What a run. The man that has been our outlet all season. Toffy Day. Big, strong, powerful. When he's running through, he's like a freight train. And chew, frigging chew. Get on the underground. There's no strikes because Wembley Way, here come the glass boys. Oh, that's such a waste. Such a waste from you, Blades. Frosty, I can see you down line. Go on, son. In on goal. Frosty, come and seal it for us. Seal it for us. Oh, what was that? That's wetter than my nan's farts. It's got to be done though, ref. It's got to be over, ref. It's got to be done, Zo. It's got to be done there. Well done, boys. Well, we uh, we made an absolute meal of it. But I tell you what, Tank, you ain't going to need to go to kebab for afters, are you? Because you are full up, son. Absolutely full up. And Wembley, here we come. Caused us some headache, didn't you use, lads? Tank's used to a thick one. Normally involves a night out on Doombar. Get yourself on the list, boys. But enough about next season. Let's make sure that we're doing it from the Prem. Come on, the glass, boys. Let's get our shotties out for the Canaries. Well then, boys. Here we are. Back at it again. In them red and white vans. But it's the yellow canaries who directly oppose us today. It's the championship playoff final. The richest game in football. Lads, this, this team deserves Premier League football. The famous words of Delia Smith. Where are you? Let's be having you. Big swing out. Go on, Ed Get on your bike. Get on your bike. Press him. Big winner. Is he in his goal? Oh, I couldn't see. God, what's going on? I tell you what. Nerves are really flowing today, aren't they, son? Scarlet. Ball in. To Tov early doors. Oh, you've got to do better there. Oh, is that Tov injured? Oh, no. Tov day. That's not you. Oh, it is. It's Tov injured. Good ball, take it. He'll just drift past him. Oh, and he's done a little little one of them. I don't know what they're called. A fire. Drive. Score! Oh! That would have been such a great goal as well. The little the little switcheroonie from our Wayne. A fire. You are a bit dreadful, aren't you? Find him. Out there. Marvin. Back in then. Not great. But Scarlett. Corner. It is a corner. Come on then, boys. Let's get our heads on this. Let's get our noggins on this. Toby Day. Oh, we get. Oh, it's a block. Second corner then. Same again. Same again. Ball in. Jan's in there. Bro. Speculative. Right then, oh, so you're gonna have to come off, ain't yet? Right then, Scarlet middle, a fire out there, frosty on you come. Ah, oh, gutted, gutted, don't we? Tank Tavide comes off, injured in the final. Could have done with you. Could have done with you, son. But Frosty comes on and we shift into our 4 3 3. Still going with it. CP. And the space will open up for you. It will open up for you. It's got to be a foul referee. 
Look, the only way that you could stop him. Only way that you could stop him. And he's telling him that. He's telling him. Right, it's too far away. But, Shepard, you are standing right there, son. Take that. Opens up. Straight one! Oof. Frosty. With it. Takes you about 20 years to get it under control. But now you have. Little shake. Little groove. Little move. Little bender. Sorry. I shouldn't have called you that. Doesn't know what he should be doing with it. I don't even think he knows he's playing football, to be honest with you. But Taylor Perry, he knows exactly what he's doing. If he hits one! Taylor Perry, write your own scripts. I, I can't even do it anymore. Write your own stories. Write your own scripts. Because this man just picks them up, tears them in half. And writes his own anyway. In the playoff final. Who else? Who else? Tell me. It's just him. He's him. That, that's him. He's that man. He's that guy. Frosty. Over to him. Tyler Perry. We've two. We've two in the final. Of course it is. Of course it's him. Of course that man will put us... Oh, no, we're not, we're not dancing. We're not dancing. Show this for later, lads. Oh, you look like a bunch of virgins. It's a great little ball over from Frosty. The touch, the finish, beautiful. Oh, you know what I've just thought? Taylor Perry, hat-trick in the final. Do you fancy it? Because I fancy it. Big time. It's Operation Get Our Boy a Hattie. Got to be honest, I think he's destined for great things. Go on in, Hancock. Driving. Still going. Still going, Hancock. Still going, Hancock. Still going, Hancock! It won! Oh! Hancock, you are... I've got to stop saying cock with that, like, emphasis, you know what I mean? Over to Rowe. Oh, that's a great ball. It's causing problems. Jesus Christ, Luca. You've just taken a big fat one to the face. But you've saved us, I think. Did what you can. Danger. Danger! Oh, my God. He's whistled one past. Not many minutes left then, boys. Come on. We've got to keep it nice and storm. Give it into Tyler Perry. Get running. Get running. Get running. Drive in. Driving in. Still going. Tyler Perry. Oh, that piece of skill. That was the last line, wasn't it? It was the last line. Lay it off. Off again. Tyler Perry. Oh, it would have been beautiful. It would have been stunning. But I don't mind it one way or the other. <sighs> glass boys. The glass boys. Stourbridge FC. It's Premier League football, boys. At last. And of course it will be. It will be. Captain Stourbridge. Two goals in the final. I would have loved it if it was at Hattie. But I tell you what. I'll settle for it. I'll settle for two goals. And a place in the Premier League. Come on, the boys. Come on, the glass, boys. And this. This is where it starts. You thought, it, you thought it had started. You thought this is where we end. Nah. This is where the big work starts, boys. Come on, the star. We are Premier League. So we are Premier League. No surprise who's our top boys for the season. Tov with 22 and 6. Going to be a madness in the top flight, any. Pairs 15 and 10. 25 goal contributions from centre mid. More from the Dane. But him and Tav just can't be separated, can they? Teddy, 8 and 4. as a 71 rated, though. He does seem to be stalling a bit. And then Luca with three goals. All beauties. Quick look at the loners then. Harrington, chopping. Middleton, he ain't going to make it, is he? Takashi, maybe could do with one more year out. And Satito, well, you could find yourself coming off the bench, son. Garner, we're going to have to cash in on. And Marshall, as hard as it is, 
are you going to make the cut? Answers in the comments. All right, you're going out for another 12. Couple new man knocking around. Who should we prioritise? And with the ground situation, the War Memorial needs a redo, doesn't it? But should we do a Luton and get City and Liverpool parking outside the local Nissa next season and then give it an updo? Just be funny, wouldn't it? Hancock definitely needs dripping out, doesn't he? Top comment and I'll make it happen. But so do a few others. Especially our boy Luca. Demon, I need you shouting up in the comments. But before I reveal the budget for next season, now we've got the funds. We need to make this permo. Sit down, big Ange. We've got the great Dane here to stay. So, after spending another 12 on Dane, we've got 13 left to spunk. As well as tying down a few man to Premier League contracts. Let me know who we're bringing in. There's a few on real free agents that we could be grabbing the transfer list is looking spicy we probably need a left winger we need a backup striker couple new center backs so it's down to you geezers get in the comments and tell me exactly who i shall be picking up and now we're in the prem the new boys have to have real faces or immaculate cranium heads i'm just thinking of the thumbnails to be fair and last but not least, now we've got a good scout. Where are we sending them? Feeling a little bit South American. So with that being said, geezers, it's the end of the episode. It's much love once again for getting all the way here. If you haven't already, make sure that you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if this is the first time that you're watching one of my videos. And remember to get in the comments and tell me what I should be doing in the next one. Next week. We're looking at another rebuild. If you've been in the posts, you'll see exactly who we are looking at. But as always, geezers, it's much love from me. I'll see you in a bit. It's much love and peace and blessings to the rest of your family.